people are saying Disco Doc. Has he reacted to the new thing? I've heard rumours of this person. Yes, Ren. Lad, thank you to all you lovely renegades in the chat, asking for Ren to react to Hubby. Is he really going to do it? I'd cross my fingers but there's too much lube on them. By the way, our dog king was absolutely fine after lube gate the other day. Thank you to everyone that's been messaging. Hang on. Disco dog. Do 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 do. Right, let's go. Okay. I subscribe to this dude. Give a little subscription. Oh my goodness, he's subscribed to us. This just goes to show what a legend Ren is, supporting the little handheld computers just as much as the giant mainframes. He's not just a pleb, he's a thoroughly decent pleb. Um, what are we watching? Miss Doc plays with you. Um, that's Mrs. Doc, to you young man. Mind you, Ren could call me Rover and I'd answer to him. My virtual hands would be roving too. Woof woof. Chin chiller all closed, no fur. What, what video are we saying? Is our particular, particular video? Not safe for work. <laughs> I'm here for it. What are we saying? What video? Where are we? Now I don't want to be a dick, but I have to point out that Ren has already watched many of our videos. Just look at those progress bars on the screen. The funniest thing is, I can see that Ren or someone on his team has watched the entire one hour video of being stuck in an elevator with Sir Doc. That thought makes me all warm and horny. Power? I like power. Let's watch a bit of power reaction. Let's get it. Get it. Uh. Power. Ren. Right from the very first bar, your fucking god complex leaks out of you. Although I must say it's refreshing to actually hear you say it, instead of downplay it. Sir Doc. It's Sir Doc. Did you see that? Sir Doc just hanging out with a sexy celebrity, it's a dirty dream come true. And now you've all seen the two of them in the same room, you can stop those silly rumors that they are one and the same person. There's a 150 year age gap, for goodness sake. I like this already. I like this already. These kids don't play my shit, I never had a top 10. Maybe it's cause I sing about violence and depressions They say don't blame these kids, just focus on yourself, friend Well, if they don't like what I'm doing now, then fuck them Don't trip high up the ante, learning licks like John Pashanti Smoking spliffs and popping candy, idolizing Sid and Nancy Woo! Rock and roll in my soul, bumping, knocking cold On the dole, fish and chips and games consoles Council house and violent flow Ren's influences are even wider than I suspected his musical taste spreads more easily than chlamydia. Ren loves artists that celebrate counterculture, the misunderstood, and champion mental health. The Sex Pistols sang about toppling the monarchy. Scar Tissue by the Chilies was about drug addiction and the solitary struggles many addicts face. Rage against the machine raged against the machine. And as for the streets, well let's never forget Mike Skinner's poetic love story about meeting the girl of his dreams in a kebab shop after a banging night out. Bye. As Shakespeare himself might say, she was indeed fit Ed, but she did indeed know it Ed. Whilst I appreciate Ren's wry smile here, I am disappointed by the lack of lolling or ruffling. Sir Doc's jokes were mediocre, but they weren't quite that mediocre. Ah shizzle sticks, I knew I should have handled this one. But life weren't sweet at home Mum and dad took a trip and they split shalom What will be will be but me I hate to see my mum alone Late night crying Get so high to try to silence Sounds of fighting Through the walls I heard love dying So This is fucking This is gold 
whoever's I don't know how, this this dude's only got a thousand subscribers. I want everyone to go. That, I mean, there's more than people in this chat than this fucking subscribe to me. I want people to go and subscribe to this because this is golden. You heard the man, golden. Maybe Sir Doc isn't doing such a bad job after all. Oopsie doopy. Now go and stroke his shiny bell and subscribe. You have my explicit permission. Though I focused on my. All jokes aside for a moment. They are some of the most real bars I've heard from Ren so far. He's almost laughing about his mum and dad splitting up, with the flippant use of the word shalom. But that is just a coping strategy to protect himself emotionally. He acknowledges that it hit him hard. He tried to block out the fighting and the pain it caused through use of recreational drugs. And since the split it upsets him to see his mum alone and feeling lonely. <laughs> through the walls I heard love dying. Damn, that is profoundly simple and yet so sad. I feel like I'm on a therapist's couch, but I just dropped a tab full of acid right now. That's what I feel like. I feel like someone's deeping, digging into the deepest parts of my psyche whilst tripping balls. Sir Doc has clearly touched a nerve here. You could see on Ren's face that Doc's analysis felt accurate to Ren. I love that he described the experience as like having therapy on acid. Psychedelic therapy is one of the most promising and cutting-edge areas of modern neuroscience, despite Western government's attempts to suppress it over the last 60 years. A big shout-out to Rick Doblin, founder of MAPS, the Multidisciplinary Association for Psychedelic Studies, who has dedicated his life to this cause. In recent phase 3 studies of treating PTSD with the empathogen MDMA, 88% of participants with severe PTSD experienced a clinically significant reduction in PTSD diagnostic scores after three sessions, compared to 60% of placebo participants. Thanks to this work, MDMA-assisted therapy is expected to receive FDA evaluation by the end of 2023. I for one am pleased that through all of this Ren found his passions in life, his music, his friends, his talents, his power. Real talk now. That's what it was. I focused on my... Now let's go back. Let's, let's go, go back. back. These kids don't play my shit, I never had a gold flat My style is old school but I swear this ain't a throwback I put my visions into rhythms on a dope track To understand the place I'm coming from, let's go back When I was 16, I was a sick teen, I was a victim of my head I was just 16, up in the kitchen, racking up lines till my nose bled In the past I have ribbed Ren for being a filthy druggy skank But now I see how this helped him get through some really tough times he used substances to numb the pain and delay feeling the depth of his true emotions. Who knows, this may even have kept him alive. Still, kids, drugs are bad, um k? Okay? Apart from those prescribed by Big Pharma of course. Oxycodone and sertraline, fine. Microdosing LSD or mushrooms. Get inside that cell you prick. You are clearly a massive danger to society. Like 16 in an affliction, in an addiction with my dread I was just 16, I was quite sick then I was a prick then, I was a pleb But fuck it We're all misguided individuals Life can suck it My car paint half full, man I'm filling up the whole bucket I'll drink my tears so I can drown my sorrow Sing like I might die tomorrow Live butter, 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 butter. I love how humble Ren is when he admits that he was a bit of a prick A pleb Pleb is a very underused word by the way I hope it makes a comeback bigger than Bikaki. Get it? Come. Back. Bikaki. Oh, never mind. I'm really interested in this interplay between the down-to-earth, almost self-deprecating Ren and the other Ren we see who wants to own the whole world and every motherfucker in it. It's quite the dichotomy. Or should that be die cock on me? Two Bikaki jokes in one uh, link. Sometimes I even impress myself. Has little Rennie Boo gone red? Is he blushing? Is he a little ready boo? I've just recorded a reaction to his latest song Love Music Part 4, and I'd expect it to take more than a couple of Bukaki jokes to embarrass Ren. Maybe he's having some sort of flashback. Or should that be, splashed back? 
vote for no, I go for broke on every single song I wrote And every single song I write brings freedom to my weary mind A healing that you'll only find inside an intricate design Of kicks and snares and flat bass lines I flip the script until I find my It is what it is I focus on my What's up, big up? Mr. Samuel Perry Falvey over here. Busting out the dance moves. Get it. Might be my new favorite. Apart from losing it, of course. Hunger was pretty tight too. And let's not forget Genesis. Ah shit, I can't pick. Anyway, Ren is at his best when he is vulnerable and congruent. We see both here by the bucket load. It's also pretty fucking fun to see him just jamming in a car with his friend Samuel. More power to them both. Until next time Renegades. Love and mushy peas. And don't forget to hit that motherfucking subscribe button. You'll Do be it. clicking on the screen anyway. It. Just... Yeah, man. That was cool. I'm actually... Yeah, that was sick. That was very, very, very cool. And there you have it. That was cool. Very, very, very cool. And that is coming from only quite possibly the coolest human being on planet Earth. It doesn't get much better than that. Well, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. But also go and hit play and like on a few Ren songs. And if you can spare the Wonga maybe go and pre-order one or six of his new albums too. Goodbye for now, my little treacle tarts.